Okay, so good morning everyone. So we'll now continue with shear deformable, not plate bending element. Uh, on that, I'll be using MATLAB again, no? Kasi dun, dun ko nakuha yung code na gagamitin ko for deformable, shear deformable. Ah, but by the way, no? wait lang. New shear, dapat screen. Yeah, okay. So we will now uh, proceed with shear deformable, but uh, so quickly lang muna. Let's try the Python code again for solving a, a more complicated geometry. Okay, So this one, no? So medyo madami-dami na tong element na to. Okay, let's just try, no? Then uh saka tayo mag-proceed sa shear deformable plate bending element. Uh, okay? Again, the shear deformable plate bending element is the one na, uh, that uh studies using, no? But itong the develop na code which I obtained from Kwon and Bang na, na PDF, no? It's just Q4, no? Rectangular lang. So, it's not a higher order element yet, no? So, of course, discrepancy, no? There, there might be discrepancy. But still, no? By just refining the mesh, the element, uh, we should get, no? Almost the same result. Okay, but again, uh, so from Python, punta tayo sa folder where in the Python code is saved. Then again, type in, nas na record ko na yun. Type in Jupyter node. Jupyter slash uh, space node. Yeah. Okay, this one, then thin plate bending problem. This one, thin plate bending problem. Okay. Then, uh, ito rin yung ginamit nating Excel file last time. So, this time, nilagyan ko siya ng, so nag-isip lang ako ng, ano, ng faster way. So, nilagyan ko lang sa formula ng kama, no? Para automatic na yung, ano, yung uh, separation ng data each element per row. Okay. So, for example, for the node coordinates, the node coordinates itong problem na to. Right-click, copy. So, open ko to. And then, say ito. Andito siya yung ano. Dito ko nalagay pala. So, B. And these are the node coordinates. Then, I'll just uh, copy this uh, formula. Control c and then paste here. Yeah. Okay, and then just drag or copy, drag all the way down. So, I think paste natin later on. Okay. For the node coordinates. Next is hi. Uh, mm -hmm. May nakalimutan ako. No? Kailangan mag-switch pala yung ano. Yung mag-switch itong coordinate. 
yung x, y, z. Control x, control b, then ito, zero to. Save. Wow. Ah, nag-ano din, no? <laughs> nag-ano din. Uh, okay, dating ko lang ito. Correct ko lang siya. And there's this one. This one Madetect niya kasi na kinat ko yung cell. Yeah. Next is the plate numbering, plate layout. So copy ko to. Copy, paste here. And then remember, uh, it should start with zero, no? So it less natin by one. Equals this minus one. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, So, directly pipaste ko rin mamaya sa pipe. So, save ko muna ito. So, Jupiter. Next is... Ano pang kailangan natin? Yung restrained, no? Yung restrained nodes. However, kailangan ko muna siyang iselect. Ito yun, no? Mm-hmm. Okay. Reloading. 100. Let's just say 100. 141. View loading diagram. Ito, dito siya naka-load. Okay. Anong thickness ito? Okay, 100, 141. So for uh, the restraint, punta ulit tayo sa geometry. Ang technique ko dyan is uh, view top view, iseselect ko manually yung mga nodes. Yan. Kasi once you select this, magbablock siya dito. Yan. Magbablock siya dyan. Press control for multiple selection. Yan. O yan. Here. Ayan. Okay. So, naselect na siya dito supposedly. Possibly, walang, ano, walang na-miss. So, right-click ako, then copy. So, na-select na itong mga nodes na yan. So, ito na siya. Then, paste here. So, ito yung node numbers. Ayan. It corresponds uh, to the restrained uh, DOF. No? So, lagyan ko nila ng formula yan because uh, naka, as you notice, naka-fix support siya. So, times 3. Right? So, times 3. So, equals this times 3 minus uh, pwede naman ako mag minus 3 na. Kasi, di ba sabi ko, naka-index tayo sa ano, sa sa 0. So, when doon nag-start yung numbering. So, 
this. Then minus uh, 2 to minus 4. This one. Minus 1. Yeah. So, diba? Supposedly, kung node 1 to, yung degree of freedom number associated dyan, 1, 2, 3. Kasi nga, we have 3 degrees of freedom per node. Eh, since nag-start tayo sa 0, it becomes 0, 1, 2. Ayan lang naman yan, no? So, control C. And then, this here. Yeah. Then, I will... Uh, Copy this formula. Okay, good. We'll see. Let me just. No, Hindi mag, ano. And I think ito na yung pinaka, ano, very tedious part, no, do sa code. Even sa MATLAB, ito din. Eh. So, ito lang yan. So, you have the node coordinates, the, yung numbering ng plate, and then yung degrees, uh, restraint DOF. So, ikakopy na natin yan. Copy-paste natin. Proceed tayo dito. Puro uh, ito yung tin plate natin. Okay. How many elements? Uh, tayo sa geometry, plate layout. We have 391. 391. Dami yan. Then, how many nodes? 437. So, dito, 391, 437. Yan yung elements natin. And number of nodes. Next. So, yan ha. Yan natin. No? Elements, nodes, tapos, of course, the node coordinates. And, and then the force. Okay, so force is applied at 141. And one node 141. So here, this is 141 times uh, 3 minus 3. Okay. Then that's 100 kilonewton. Negative 100. Node coordinates na. Okay, node coordinates. So, I'll copy this now. Yes. Control C. Okay. Roll. Okay, next, then yung numbering, no? plate numbering. Ilan natin? Nodes, coordinate, force, numbering, and restraint. Ito na yung numbering. Roll C. This here. Next. Then the details na, no? The details na of the thickness. Ay, yung restraint DOF. Nasaan si restraint DOF? Ito, yung restraint DOF. Ito to. Roll C. Roll okay. Go back. Save. Then the details now. Okay, check natin. Thickness. What's the thickness? So, steel material, 1, 2, 3, 25 mm. So, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0
0.025. Anong so steel and then the geometry is 0 0.025. By 0 0.025. So this is 0 0.025 by 0 0.025. Steel material, so no changes. Okay. Siyempre, i-update natin to. 0 0.025. Eh, that's it. Tapos na. No, yun lang. No? So, yes. ito lang yung pinaka-important part. Eh. And then yung detail ng ano, nung mesh. Yung thickness niya, yung A and B. Okay. So, let's say kung walang bug. Okay, then run. Save ko muna. Then... Ayun. Closing parenthesis, line 396. So, yung missile. Baka dun sa node coordinates. Ito. May kama siya. Kapag wala. Ayun na lang. Yan. Yeah. Inlet. 393. 393. Ah, na-doble. Doble. Tama na siguro. Baka may kama ulit to. Ayun na. Okay, we'll wait.
रेशम रिकॉर्ड चेक दिस अनु अतिशय तो अनु लांग 120 नोड्स नहीं सब 400 प्लस तेरे को मुन्ना तो बदो दोलिंग आ को दोने दी तो दिस मदलिंग इट चेक ओके कॉपी दिस पेस्ट हियर रोल बी देने तो C. Control. Ito yung kama. Next is how many element? We have one hundred. The number of nodes, one twenty one. Okay, restrain by many. Then the cores. I have plate numbering. Sant damay ko na. Copy. The plate numbering. One hundred. Oh, no, 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 coordinates. Element nodes. Sinyo kama. Okay, then the restrain DOF. Select. Dito ako minsan nagdood. Ano eh. Minsan kasi may bug tong staad na pag nasinelect mo siya, yung pala hindi nagre-reflect dito. Okay. Okay. Yan. Double check ko siya. Copy. Restrain DOF. Nasaan yun? Nasaan yung code natin ng restrain DOF? Nawala. I love you. Thank you. So, so now. We'll see. Then. Copy this. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three.
Oh, bakit meron pa siya? Ito nga pala formula nito. Rol C, then the strain theorem. Lagyan lang natin ang bracket. Where's the load? Ah, yun doon pala. 0.44 node 61. 0.444 node 61. Ayun, saan ka ba Then the element. 0 0.05. May thickness. 0 0.005. I think okay na. So, yeah. So, okay na to. So, what did we get here? Displacements. The maximum is 0.263 millimeters. 0.263. Node 61. Double check natin kay Python. 0.63. So that's displacement 61 times 3 minus 3. Yan yan. Minus 3. Yeah, we're getting 1, 2, 3. 2.8. 2 Kanya is 0.263. Tama ba? 61 times 3 minus 3. Okay. Let me check yung load natin. Oh, wow. Zero, zero, five. Yes. Hindi ko update yung Sorry. Point, ano to? Point zero, five. Yeah. This should be point zero five. Ayan. So update natin siya. Then run.
Okay. Ayan. So, ayan. Hindi ko lang pala na-update yung element. Yung, ano, region of integration. Ayan. So, ayan. So, we're also getting 0.27 naman siya. No? While stat gets 0. Ano nga? 263. 263. Okay. Ayan. Kasi ito, madaling ano eh, no? Madaling i- Hindi, hindi ako agad ako madudulig. Doon sa kanina, baka maduling ako. Pero definitely, something lang doon sa, ano, baka may na-miss lang na nodes na ano, kailangan kong i-double check. Kasi may butas siya. Okay? So that's it. So that's how, by using this Excel, no? Sige, isa-send ko rin to sa GC. Pero it's a simple, ano lang naman, concatenation lang naman function or command. Ayan. Okay. And then again, ito lang naman yung edit natin. Yung number of element, number of nodes. Ayan. Yung syempre yung coordinate, yung force, yung numbering, then the restraint. Yan yung major eh. No? The rest yung size ng element, region of integration. Ano yan? Dapat, uh, that's, 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 that's common sense. Kasi yun nga yung in-integrate mo. No? Isang element. Ayan. Ito kasi, it, this 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 uh, data these are just to to formulate the stiffness matrix of the whole system okay so that's uh, how you solve more complicated geometry in python so let's now proceed with thin plate bending element Again, uh, I used shear deformable plate bending, the stiffness matrix. Yeah. So you notice, no, when we're when we're solving using thin plate bending element, na under estimate natin yung yung ano yung uh, Displacement, no? Kasi nga, uh, nagiging stiff yung element natin. Because uh, we don't include the shear deformation. So to this formula is from Kwon and Bang. Generally the same in all textbook. So here, so remember meron tayong constitutive equation, di ba? The equation ng ating ano is Double integral B transpose DB. No? The D matrix is the constitutive matrix. It's a constant matrix. Ito yun. D sub B. May subscript lang. That means it's a bending stiff constitutive matrix. No? Now we will now include another constitutive matrix. The shear. For the shear naman. Okay? That's why makikita nyo dito sa formula natin ng stiffness matrix, we need two components. No? The bending component and the uh, yeah. This is the bending. This is a shear component. Next is siguro sa ako na i-discuss yung derivation. No? Medyo mahaba ito. No? Ayan. Uh, but basically, no, alam nyo na to, this one. Ito sa bending component. Alam nyo na yan. Idadagdag lang natin to. Component na yan. For the shear. Okay? So we know this already. Bh, h cube over 12. Yan. And then this is the new, uh, ano natin, component. Then uh, combine the two. That's now your stiffness matrix. No? Considering the shear deformation. Okay? So, uh, now, the consequence of using this element is shear locking. No? Uh, kakaroon daw ng shear locking. So the the approach na ginawa 
will now be using a lesser Gauss points uh, used for shear stiffness is too, the displacement computed is too small. Pwede natin i-demonstrate dyan next time. No? Now, this shows that shear locking phenomenon requires the use of one-point Gauss integration. Di ba na? Uh, so, dito magagamit tayo ng Gauss quadrature sa ating thin plate stiffness matrix. Na, introduce ko na sa inyo yung Gauss point, Gauss quadrature sa plane stress. No? I-apply lang natin siya sa uh, thin plate. No? Sa bending, we will also use two points. No? Similar with plane stress. Yun nga, but they notice that pag gumamit ka ng two point daw, nagkakaroon ng shear locking. That's why uh, gagamitin sa 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 shear deformable plate element is only one point Gauss integration. Okay? So, ito yung kung ba yun? I think ito yun. So, current current ano natin, folder. Let's and shell. Ayan. Ito yung daming function. No? So, kasi nga doon sa book ni Kwon and Bang, ito. Tinype ko na, no? Tinype ko na isa-isa. Ang tagal. Ang tagal ko siyang dinevelop. I mean, ka kinopia from Kwon and Bang. No? Ayan. So, lahat ng function na yan, kailangan kong i-code. No? Kasi yung PDF ko ni Kwon and Bang, syempre, PDF lang siya, no? Ano siya, image file. No? Hindi ko siya pwedeng directly copy-paste. Ito siya. Para may idea kayo. So, of course, uh, I'm, I'm planning also to create my own. No? Pero for the sake of uh, sharing the, no, the information or the theory, hindi, ano, and due to lack of time, so, I'm gonna show you yung kay Kwon and Bang na lang. Kwon and Bang. PDF ni Kwon and Bang. Nasa G-Drive na rin natin yan. Kwon and Bang. Tulungan nyo nga kayo. Ayan. Bookmark na rin yan. Alam ko yung sinin ko sa G-Drive. Ayan, yun yung mga function niya. Ayan, hindi mo yan makakapi. So, mano-mano kong kinopia ulit. Okay? So yeah. So may kita niyo diyan, naka-bookmark naman, no? And ano yung problem niya dito? Plate structures, puta tayo sa shear deformable plate element. Ngayon, ito nga yun, yung snapshot ko. Same ano, same Lecture natin last time. Ito yung U and V. Okay. You have theta x, theta y. You have three degrees of freedom. The W, the vertical displacement. Theta x, the rotation on both uh, axes. And then this one is the strain in bending, strain in uh, shear. This is the V matrix. You know? And then the B matrix for shear, okay, the displacement, okay, and then combine the two, and then that's it. So, ang uh, you open natin function is pato man tayo sa ano, solve na tayo ng problem. Ma-apply na natin siya. Ito nga, ito nga yung problem. It's a four, a quarter square plate with four elements. Yeah. Check lang.
So, ito. Ito na yung file name niya. Mindlin plate. Okay. Load. Say ito muna. Mindlin plate. Okay. Siya. We mindlin because yan yung other name for shear deformable plate. Si Reisner Mindlin. Mindlin plate. Ito. Main main play. Well, so you open for it. Ito main main play. Open to siya. Yeah. So, ito yung code nun, yung nasa kay Kwon and Bang. So, mapapansin nyo when you check this code, kinukol ko yung maraming function. Yan, yung this function, FEG, LQD2, yan yung Gauss Quadrature 2 point. Ito naman is, ito naman yung kinukol ko yung uh, to, bending. Materials Constitutive Matrix no, for bending. Kaya ang MAT MTPD. Ito naman, shear no, for the shear uh, Constitutive Matrix. Yeah. And then, yeah. Ang simple lang niya, no? konti. Pero, yun nga, it's calling a lot of function. Yeah. Function 1, Ito nga, FEG. Ito, FE mat ISO number 2. Um, ano pa yung mga function dito? Ito, another function. Ayan, ito. So, ang dami niya, no? And then, uh, ang ngayon, uh, since established na yung mga function, ito lang yung papalitan natin. Uh, you have the thickness. Very common sense. Basic yan. Poisson ratio. Modulus of elasticity. Number of element. Number of uh, nodes per element. Because it's a quadratic element. Degree of freedom. Number of nodes. Yan. Of course, the node coordinates. And yung element numbering. Gagalain yung ginawa natin. Yun lang. No? Yun lang ulit. Same approach. Same, ano, Required data. Okay. Let's try to run this. No? Run this. <clears throat> okay. Ayan. Ito na yung plot niya. Okay. Uh, then also, ito yung sinasabi kanina about the shear locking that ito yung two-point Gauss quadrature. Then mapapansin nyo, ginamit na Gauss quadrature for the shear S, ito bending for B, is 1. So kaya, yun yung sinasabi kanina that. Kasi you have a freedom to choose how many Gauss points. No? So if I make this two, magkakaroon ng shear locking na tinatawag. So, uh, hindi nyo ma-appreciate because four-noded element lock. Siguro, let's try to solve it using this one. Sige, solve natin to. Okay. Using, so, we will now solve this using a shear deformable Plate bending element. Okay. So, siguro, let's have a break.
Okay, so, okay. so let's now proceed with this. Um, Nine times two, twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. Ah, wait, what's that? My iPad, hold on. Nandito kasi yung anak ko sa tabi ko eh. Okay, so according to this, ang nakuha niyang displacement is 0 0.0168 inch. Okay, so how do we get that? So displacement at 27. Okay, no command. Kasi the command depends on the, ano eh, on the, ito yan, displace. Place at twenty seven. Let's check. My minute. This place twenty seven comma three bar. So in this place, na lang. Yeah. So we're getting point zero one six eight. So the same, naman, no? That means okay tong code natin. Similar with the reference obtained. So, so uh, since na double check na natin, let's now use that here. All the English units. Eh. Okay. okay anyway, nodes, copy. Okay. So it's a, since this is MATLAB. Okay, going ko yung, what ang dami? <laughs> Ayaw, 121 ako. Matlab naman siya ngayon. Naris yung mga ano. And zero. Control P. Control C. And so this is the node coordinates. So maybe I will save this you know, to another file name. Mindlin plate or shear deformable uh, Logan. Say parang sa pattern kay Logan yung problem. Pero how many element is it? Uh, this is a 100 elements. Logan. Okay. okay. And then, the coordinates. Yeah. Ito yung code sa MATLAB. Coordinates. Yeah. Anyone? Control B. So, you know, lang mali dito. Then, itong nodes na to, based dun sa, sa book, eh, this is the, ano, yung plate numbering. No? Okayin ko naman yung plate numbering. Plate layout. Ito naman yan. Okay, so, copy this. 
then paste again here. Yeah. Then I'll just replace this with semicolon because yan naman yung separation per row in MATLAB. Control C. Control B. Ito medyo, ano itong BCDOF? Ito yung restrained DOF eh. Um, so BC val uh, ito yung ano na ibig sabihin nito yan daw yung yan constraint DOFs kasi natin are 15. So, the, nakadepend to sa constraint DOF. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, ako may ako yung Number of elements mo na to. We have uh, 100 elements and 121 nodes. 100 elements, then 121 nodes. Okay, modulus of elasticity, you know, it's... Uh, 105 times 10 raised to 9. Poisson ratio is also 0.3. Uh, properties thickness is 0 0.005. 0 0.005. I think it change ko mamaya sa Gauss point. Ano naman? Ano pa ba? Nodes, then restrain DOF. Yung force muna. Ano yung force natin? Um, we apply that at node 61. 61 times 3. So this is 61 times 3. Parang lumalabas yung pang third DOF niya, yun yung vertical. No, so, unlike the sa template natin, yung unang DOF, yung, yun yung vertical ano, displacement. So, that is 0 0.444 times 10 raised to 3. Okay, what else? Yun lang, no? Yun lang. Ang ano ko na lang talaga, yung restrained DOF. Okay. Okay, let me check. Whose described values are zeros? Yes, yun. yun, yun. Okay. So in this case, ang restrained DOF natin ito mga ito. And na-select ko na siya earlier. Ito dapat yun. So, ito mga nodes na to. Having uh,
Ayan, copyin ko muna. Control C. This is here. So this is one times three minus two. Then semicolon. This is minus one. Then this is times three. Minus Sana ano to? Sana hindi siya mag-error. Ayan. Roll C. This is your... Kung baga, hindi, hindi ko susundin yung ano. Yung nandito. Ayan. So, yan yung mga degrees of freedom na naka-restrain. And they are how many? Ilan to? So, I selected 40. So, 40 times 3 is 120. So, we'll check it dito. Yes, 120. So, therefore, mag says, mag, mag, what do you call this? Mag set ako ng BC val na 1 by 120. So, 1 by 120. Kasi yun yung, ano, restraint. I think yun lang. No? Sige, i-clear ko muna. Ay, mali. Error, and then run. Ayan, no? yun na nga. <laughs> Alam. So, sabihin, may mali tayong interpretation dito sa ano. Sa... So that is forty. Ngayon, let me listen ko lang yung semicolon. Let me go semicolon. So natin semicolon. Nodes per element, yes, four. Degrees of freedom, 3. May missing ba? Wala naman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yung BCDOF lang talaga. Ang hini iniisip ko nga. Possible time magkamali. B, C, D, O, F. Ito. I-update ko ito. Yeah. Okay, so yung pala yung need. No? Kailangan is nakagantong form. So, na-confirm ko naman. No? Kaya siya nagsisingular matrix. So, hindi kagaya nung nagawa nating code last time na naka-per row. 
gusto pala niya, yung pagkaka-code nun is tuloy-tuloy. Yung restrained DOF. So, ginawan ko pa siya ng formula ulit. On the spot. No? Kinun kinunfirm ko muna kung tama yung hinala ko. Eh, yun nga, nung na-confirm ko, yun, saka ako ginawa ng code. Ganun lang naman, is, di ba, ito yung, ito yung nodes natin na restrained. Okay? So, nung na-identify na natin yung restraint, ito, ito yung mga degrees of freedom na yun, corresponding degrees of freedom. However, the, this code requires na isang row lang yung BCDOF or yung mga restrained DOF. So, wala natin i-convert into single row. Yan. So, this is how you do that. Isang single row na siya. Yung lahat ng restrained degrees of freedom. Okay? So, state. So, nilagay na natin siya. Ito na siya. Then, the lang size of size nun is 1 by 120. Okay. And, when running it, ito na yung result ng ating uh, analysis. Hindi ko palang nagagawa ng plotting. Pero, ang most important naman dito is the uh, what do you call this? The this placement. Okay. Which is what? Ano nga yung hinahan natin? Displacement 0.26 at node 61 or uh, 61 times 3 183. No? 183. Ano yung lumabas sa kanya? Node 183. Yan. We're getting 0 0.0003 or 0.3 millimeters sa kanya. Okay. Tama ba? <laughs> Ayan, yun na natin. Okay, based on that uh, data. 0.3. Okay. Then, okay, yun ang miss ba tayo? So, so sana ay walang ano walang error dun sa or mistake dun sa sa converting from English to like ito. Dito double check ko siguro to. Pero yun lang naman eh. 0.5 lang naman eh. So T cube over 12. Naka inches kasi to remember. no Sana wala naman. Okay. Hindi ba ako Two hundred five times ten raised to nine. Sana nga yung force kanina. Double check na ito yung force na nga yung force na nga yung force. Sixty one times three. Yeah, according to the ano. Let's go. Zero point four to four. How about minus to ko yan to. I-clear ko muna. Uh, tapos, call natin yung displays. Okay. Hmm. So, dyan. So, that means, hindi yan. Uh, Uh, what else? Uh, uh, siguro next time i-derive natin no? yung, yung formula. Ito, ang goal ko lang is pakita sa inyo that uh, gusto sana i-differentiate eh, yung result. Eh, no? So, 0 0.003. Susulat ko lang sa glad. 0.003. 3 or 0.3 millimeters. Okay. So, millimeters. Now, with uh, if we use 
if we use two point Gauss quadrature. Let's see, any result? Yeah, two point Gauss, Gauss quadrature. Let's run. Then, ano yung result? So, 183. Ayan, nakita nyo. Halos zero. Kanina, points, point 0.3 mm to. No? Nung ginawa na natin siyang 2-point Gauss quadrature for the shear deformation, ah, sorry, for the shear component, halos wala siyang displacement. So, ito nga yung tinatawag na shear locking. Halos zero siya. Then when I make this one point Gauss quadrature, and this again, call the displaced result. One eighty three. May values na siya. Okay. So that is the. The, the the difference no in nga because of the shear locking na tinatawag shear locking effect so parang ano eh uh, para siyang ano kasi uh, technique no na that uh, kasi kung i-review -re nyo back yung numerical methods the more gauss point the more exact supposedly yung makukuha mo no however in this case lumalabas hindi no uh, ito na yung ito na yung ano ito na yung dito na pumapasok yung yung uh, role ng numerical methods or so din natin uh, flaws no na hindi pala ganun no because if we apply a two point gauss quadrature naglalak nagkakaroon ng shear locking or na underestimate yung displacement which is ayaw natin so um, reduce integration ang tawag ko by just using one point gauss quadrature okay I think so wala naman siguro kung ano dito. Other. Uh -huh. Okay. Sige. So, again, pinakita ko lang yung how about, ano, bagoy natin yan. Just siguro one more ano, running. Just checking kung consistent pa rin, no? 0.44 gawin kong ano, alimbawa, 10 kN. Sige, modify this. Masyado kasi maliit eh. Then run analysis. Okay. Getting displacement of Ayan, 5.93 mm. 5.93. Then, gawin natin itong 10 kN. Natatakpan siya eh. Ayan, ito, ito, ito. There's that. Ito, ito, ito. Dapat yata, lagay ko sa umpisa ko. Negative 10 kN. Ayan. Ayan. Place. 183. Ayun. So, the same naman. Consistent. No? 5.9 millimeters. So, we're getting 5.9. Siguro yung positive negative sign, uh, may mali lang siguro sa sequence ng numbering. Pero consistent naman. No? We also obtained 5.93 millimeters. 5.9. Dito sa math lang. Yeah. And again, last check, 
if I make this uh, one two two point Gauss quadrature for the shear component. Okay, and then check the displacement at 183. We should, uh, no, no, lesser value dapat. Yun nga, no? So at 183, we're just getting 0.3 millimeters. No? If we use 2.0 Gauss quadrature, so, so therefore, it shows that uh, you should use a one point Gauss quadrature to obtain um, a near exact result. Okay. So uh, that's it. Siguro next time yung ano, yung actual derivation ito mga to. Pero madali lang, no? basically dalawa lang naman, eh, no? from, from pure bending, no? Kita nyo? Yeah. From pure bending component, ito, dinagdag lang natin itong shear component. Okay. Yun lang yung logic doon. No? The rest kasi, uh, doon na, sumunod na rin yung B matrix. Yeah. Okay. Yung constitutive matrix, sumunod na rin. No? Na-expand na rin siya. Kaya mas mahaba ito. Mas mahaba yung... Okay. So, uh, so, with that, May, meron na tayong shear deformable bending element. So you can now apply that to footing na rin, mat foundation, di ba? So tuloy-tuloy na yun, no? You can already do that with that. Which is, this big, again, this shear deformable bending element is uh, more general, no? More general siya. Now, unlike yung tin plate bending, Nga, hindi niya kinonsider yung shear. No? <laughs> Yun nga, no? so, so therefore, itong shear deformable bending element also can cater thick, thick element. No? Yun yung uh, uh, disadvantage ng pure tin plate bending. Kasi nga, sa pure tin plate bending is hindi niya kaya yung thick uh, element. Okay. But sabi ko nga, no? in, in most cases naman kasi, like sa slab, no? it's very small. No? Yung thickness ng slab is very small relative to the, to the, ano, di ba? To the, to the length and width ng slab panel. Kaya nag-work yung, yung thin plate bending. So itong thick element, saan possible to? Hmm... Mga ano, mga isolated putting din siguro, no, na medyo makapal siya. No? Yun lang. No? Ano ba? And also, yun nga, numerically din kasi, uh, uh, mathematical, uh, ano, mas, mas madali, mas madali siyang, as you can see sa derivation, no, uh, mas smooth yung derivation ng, ng shear deformable bending element as compared to the thin plate bending element. Kung baga, mas consistent. No? Uh, sa thin plate bending element, di ba, we, parang ano yung, ang counterpart niya si Euler-Bernoulli beam. No? E ang mas general sa beam is yung the Timoshenko beam na kinacover niya yung shear. No? E yun, so for the shear, shear deformable na beam, Yon, applicable siya sa deep beam naman. Something like that, no? So, doon naman nakapattern itong shear deformable plate na na-consider din naman shear. Therefore, mas general itong shear deformable plate element. Tapos, pag sobrang nipis ng, ng plate mo, kaya pa rin yan isolve. Unlike si thin plate, hindi na niya kayang i-cover yung, yung makakapal na, na plate element. Kaya therefore, this is more general. Okay? So, sige. So, next time natin yung uh, uh, what they call this, yung derivation and uh, possible yung nga, yung application din ito sa foundation, sa full team. Okay? So, any question?
So for the sake of attendance, I'll just mention the names. We have Sir Galvez, Ma'am Jenica, Sir Crenel, Sir Lino, and Ma'am Catherine. Okay, so, okay. so again, meron akong special event na pupuntahan kasi later. So, ano tayo bukas? No? Hopefully, maka-attend din ba kayo bukas for the advanced analysis? Uh, since nag-work itong Zoom, ibig sabihin, uh, legit yung Zoom ng PUP. This is provided ng PUP. No? So, maybe, ito na yung lagi natin gagamitin. Kasi nag-work naman pala. Wala siyang, wala siyang ano eh, limitation sa minutes na sa minutes. So next, so tomorrow, I'll send another link no, for the matrix analysis. Okay, so see you tomorrow. And God bless. Thank you, sir.